Cheers, guys. This is a completely unplanned, impromptu live video I'm doing because I thought of something, and clearly if I would have thought in advance that I was gonna be doing this video, I would have put on like a better outfit. Although I'm quite pleased I'm wearing my Longhorns hat, as my man will be. Um, I thought of doing this video on my way home from the chiropractor this morning because here's the long and short of it. I have realized as I've been going through some really annoying health issues, and I'll just put it as chronic headaches, chronic migraines for the better part of six to seven months. Um, many of you that have been following me, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you've heard me talk about this. If you look at my stories here on Facebook, you know as well. Um, but what's been interesting to me is as I've shared my struggle, if you will, with this, this issue, I'm realizing how many more people are suffering or have suffered from the same issues. And it's encouraging to know that there are pe a lot of people that I know that have gotten past it. But what I've discovered both in sharing on the podcast, um, when I'm sharing on the Instagram channel for The Kelly O Show, um, when I'm sharing with people just in person um, or in some of my business ventures, whatever, more people have responded or private messaged me and, and said, please let me know what you find out. I deal with the same thing. So I'm coming on here today to let you know that I just thought of this today. I was, I was listening to a podcast in the car on the way home from the chiropractor, which is one of the things I'm doing to address these chronic headaches. And I realized I've done so much investigation and research and although I haven't solved my headache problems, I'm finally going to see a neurologist next uh, Wednesday morning, thank God. Um, I've done a tremendous amount of research, just like I did when I was first starting to go through hormonal issues and, and hormonal imbalance. And I find myself answering the same questions again and again and again. And as I was listening to this podcast, it was a business podcast. Hey, Julie. Um, as I was listening to this business podcast, they were giving somebody advice on like, you know, we all know what a freemium is, right? You go to a website and it says, you know, put your email in if you want this. I'm like, why am I not creating a free resource? Number one, to save myself from having to answer the same questions, type up the same responses to the same answers, but just to more proactively help people. There are so many individuals that I have run into that are dealing with chronic headaches and or chronic migraines like me, it, it really surprised me. Um, every time I have done a poll, hey Matt Bat, how are you? Every time I've done a poll, over 77% of our audience has said that they're dealing with chronic headaches, chronic migraines. You guys, I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating at all. The past, this has been certainly going on um, the first that I experienced it on a regular basis was when I moved to Texas. Um, and then I experienced it more recently when I moved from Austin to San Antonio. And then they became not only more frequent, but more frequent and intense. Um, and then it was not just headaches every single day, but it was headaches and uh, migraines. So as I started sharing this, and the reason I was sharing it was quite frankly because I'm not exaggerating. Um, in the past six months, I've literally probably lost 60 to 70% of my time for work, my business, my businesses, and my workout time. That's how much time I have I've lost. Um, Matt's saying he sit there with a headache. I'm, there's so much more that can cause headaches than any of us know. And it can be, it, it's, it's so all over the place. It can be so many different things. I mean, one of the last things that I discovered happened because my mom said, you know, she's kind of joking. She goes, are you sure you're not allergic to Steve? That's just my mom's sense of humor. But then she said, do you think it's the climate in Texas? And I'm like, why would I be allergic? Or why would I have a, an allergic reaction to like heat and sun and beautiful weather? But something about that stuck in my head. And then I started doing research. I literally... And I'm not a fan of any of us self-diagnosing, okay? I am a fan of, of being an informed consumer, an informed patient. 
and being able to go to your doctor or doctors, hey Jenny, and, and having, and actually Jenny Meyer is one of the people who got me to go to a chiropractor. Jenny Meyer was dealing with chronic migraines. Going to a chiropractor is definitely something all of us should be doing. Um, I'm, I'm going to have actually my chiropractor is going to be a recurring guest on the podcast so that we can address why it's so important because people have so, <laughs> Matt, rubbing in, you're welcome to visit anytime. Um, uh, chiropractic treatment is so beneficial, but so many people are so skeptical about it. So I, I'm, I'm excited to have him on the show. Anyway, um, when my mom said that to me about maybe it's the climate, I went to Dr. Google, just kidding. Um, but I just literally typed in, I said, I have moved from Chicago to Texas and ever since moving to Texas, I have headaches all the time. And I stumbled on several websites that talked about seasonal or regional headaches that are actually related to sinuses that are related to allergens. And Texas apparently is one of the states in the country that has the highest uh, concentration of allergens. And because, Matt Bat, you'll appreciate this, because it never freezes really down here or snows, the allergens that are floating around in the air are never killed. And so there's even more of them. And then we have this beautiful thing called cedar fever down here, which now it's high cedar fever time. So everybody's, everybody's kind of miserable. Um, but the truth is I did discover this could be a histamine thing. It could be, and here's the thing, for all of you that are here so far that might watch this on the replay, um, I'm gonna throw a lot of information out for you, but here's the deal. Here's the bottom line. At the end of the show, I'm gonna give you my email address. I'm gonna create an ebook and it's going to be free. And it's just gonna have all of my research and then you can take it and start, you know, going down the path of discovering what's gonna work for you because I found a ton of resources. Great, I'm, I'm recording a lot of um, podcasts with some of these authors. Um, I can point you in the same direction so I can save you a lot of time because I just realized on the way home, like, wow, if I've, if I've had to go through all of these months and months and months of trying to figure out what the hell is causing all of these headaches just so I can get my life back. And then I realized all so many people out there, um, yeah, see Julie's saying that the pollen and allergies are, are terrible. Now I will be uh, honest, Julie, I've started putting um, measures in place from my doctor um, to address histamine and allergies. I'm still, but it's only been what, 10 days? So I can't say, like, I'm, I just had a migraine Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's my first non-migraine day. So I don't know that I can say it's not working because it hasn't been that long. But when I got another migraine after adding Flonase and saline, you know, up the nose and, and adding a antihistamine every day and taking a tablespoon of Texas honey that has local bee pollen in it, and then I got another, one of the worst migraines ever, I'm like, I, it's time to get to a neurologist. But a lot of you guys don't know, I mean, I didn't know, I'd heard about things like Botox for migraines. You know, apparently they inject Botox all over your head and neck, and apparently that works really well. There's also three different, I had a woman write me today about three different shots you can get for migraines. There are some people who swear by um, preventative, I'm actually taking one of them, it's a preventative prescribed pill medication, I'm not a fan of, hi Kathleen Wagner, um, I'm not a fan of when things, you guys know me, like I'm about trying to get healthy and fix things the natural way, as opposed to saying, I don't feel well, let me go to the doctor and get prescribed some pill. Like, I'm not a fan of that. However, sometimes you get to the point where you've been dealing with so much pain and misery that you will take a pill, even if it's just to bridge the gap until you, you figure out what the source is. Um, so I am taking a prescription called, I think it's Natalol, and that's a preventative. But as you can tell, I've gone through a lot of phases this past year in trying to figure out why the hell do I have headaches every day? At first we thought it was my eyesight. I got my eyes checked. I got brand new prescription eyeglasses. I've never had prescription eyeglasses just for reading. I had prescription eyeglasses with blue blockers. We thought that worked. Worked for about three weeks, then the headaches came back. Um, then we thought it was stress because I was changing my businesses. Hi, Bobby. Um, that, you know, stress reduction didn't work. Then we thought it was, um, then Jenny was telling me like, girl, I've had migraines for six months. Why aren't you going to the chiropractor? And I realized I'd stopped going to the chiropractor. 
didn't plan on it. So I went back to the chiropractor, they did some x-rays, they um, saw that my neck had gotten a lot worse. So my neck, instead of being arched back like it should be, is arched more forward, which puts more pressure on the base of my neck. Hey, MK. Um, so we thought it was that. I started going to see the chiropractor three times a week and for three, the first three weeks, just like with the glasses, the first three weeks, the headaches got better, but then they came back. Actually, Mary Catherine is my man friend's daughter and she's been here and she's, she's experienced seeing me like having to go lay down in the middle of the day because I have a headache and everyone's like, what the hell is wrong with this woman? So then we thought, so we tried the chiropractor, then that's just, uh, what, two weeks ago, week and a half ago is when I discovered it could be Texas allergies. Um, then I, st I, I got another migraine. So I'm interested to see what the neurologist is gonna say next Wednesday. I am counting down till next Wednesday, but in the meantime, it really just struck me in the car on the way home. There are so many people who follow me, who tune into the podcast, who maybe they just follow the Kelly O Show. Jennifer, how are you? Um, that are experiencing the same thing. I mean, literally just coming on here randomly in the middle of the day, um, it, that was starting this live. I didn't even announce it, I didn't plan it, but the first three people that came on are like, I have headaches too. And people, if you're like me, I mean, for, for a while, even earlier this year, I was just taking Excedrin. I mean, like I have been keeping Excedrin in business. I was taking Excedrin all day, every day. Like that's destroying your liver. It's just not. So when you medicate, self-medicate like that, as opposed to fixing the source of the problem, when you have a headache all the time, when you have any chronic issues, there's something underneath that's, that's not working right and we have to figure it out. And if you're like me and you've tried all these different avenues and it's not working, then it's time to, to level up. And that's hence why I'm going to a neurologist. I have gotten an MRI. I don't have a brain tumor or anything like that. Um, but I have white spots all over my brain from all the headaches. So it needs to be taken a step further. But I wanted to come on here today to A, tell you, in case those of you that didn't know, this is what I've been going through. Um, I plan on getting a billion times better and getting my life back because I have massive goals to attack this year, both from a fitness perspective, from my business perspective. I am so damn excited, you have no idea. Um, yes, absolutely, Jennifer. Um, and I have no doubt, like I just, I really think finally seeing this neurologist is going to, what is your, let's see, Matt says his ENT told him that I needed to a cavity drained. Oh, and you know what else? Actually, I interviewed somebody for the podcast today, Catherine Lewis, how are you? Um, who, who was mentioning um, those of us, so I'm 50. If you were brought up in my generation, we had metal fillings, right? So I have three metal fillings in my mouth. That could be the cause of this. And a lot of people are getting these metal fillings removed because they can be toxic. That could very well be it. But you know, if you're if you're experiencing something that's not going away, it's not something. Sadly, we live in a society where I haven't seen you in forever, Catherine. It's so good to see you. Um, we live in a society where I mean, if you look, start looking at the magazines that you read. This is what pisses me off. If you look at the magazines you read, you watch CNN, you're watching the news. 90%, probably 70 to 90% of the ads are for all of these pharmaceutical drugs. Now, I could sound hypocritical because I'm taking one of them, the Natalol I mentioned. It just frustrates me because we are a society that is trained to, your stomach hurts, take Prilosec. You have psoriasis, take this drug. You have this, take this. And oh, by the way, you could have all of these side effects like you know your left arm falling off, your skin breaking out, your boobs falling into your ass, you gain 800 pounds, um, your eyeballs can't see anymore, and you might die. But guess what? You won't have psoriasis anymore. Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. So. On one hand, I don't want to sound like a complete and utter hypocrite because I did share with you, I am taking a prescription drug to prevent migraines because I'm desperate right now. But I'm also gonna find the core and hopefully find a more natural lifestyle way of fixing it because something something in my life has, has changed 
that has made me, my body fight back with headaches all the time. But, but popping Excedrin every day or popping Prilosec 24 hours a day, seven days a week to get rid of stomach aches or, or whatever, or being on a cholesterol pill, like that's not a way to live. A way to live is to be healthy and have energy and, and be in shape and be excited and, and be able to function. Laying on your couch going, what is wrong with me? Like, which has been me for 60% of the, Susie Sugar, how are you? Um, that's just, it's no way to live. So um, yes, Matt, stay tuned. So here's what I want you guys to do. I decided today on my way home, this listening to this business podcast and she's giving advice to another business owner. She's like, you've got to get, you know, she goes, if you have all this advice, put it all together in an ebook. And I'm like, why am I not doing that? So for any of you, that, that are interested in specifically, I saw Nicole, I see Jay, how are you? Hopefully you find something. Yes, I, Mary, Mary Catherine, I'm gonna do it. Like, that's all there is to it. I'm not letting another six months of my life go by where 60% of it, I'm on the couch with a headache. No more. So, here's what I'm gonna say. If any of you or anyone you know is dealing with chronic headaches and or migraines, email me kelly at kellyalexa.com here's what i'm going to have you do when i have this ebook i'm going to put together all the research everything that i found the books the podcast episodes i've recorded um any information articles research anything i'm going to put it all in one book and then you can take that and and save a lot of time and i can tell you what worked for me what didn't work what's worked for other people what are options if you go to a neurologist what are options with you know like what is the botox cost what does uh insurance cover all of that kind of stuff if you're interested just send me an email to kelly at kellyalexa.com what i want you to do is put in the subject line so my assistant and i can see it just put migraine or headache in the subject line. That's all you have to do. So shoot me an email. What I'm gonna do is put all those people on a private list. Don't worry, you're not gonna get spammed by me or anything like that. When the ebook is ready, I will mail it to you and it's going to be free of charge, of course. I just, I sincerely wanna help anybody else who's going through this. So if you know somebody or you're watching this now or on the replay, this is what I'm doing, I'm very excited about it. I hope to have it finished in the next couple of weeks. And I think what it'll do, what I'll do is, it'll just be something that as I find, and I'm, I'm bringing some migraine experts on the show, they're gonna be interviewed on The Kelly O Show. If you're not subscribed, you need to get your ass over to iTunes and subscribe to The Kelly O Show, best podcast on the planet. Pretty much everybody says that. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and leave a review. Um, so. I will add to this as I find out more information. So once you are you opt into the you know to the list, it'll just be my migraine headache list. And then anytime I update it, I'll send that out to everybody for free. I'm also thinking that because a lot of you people, sweetie, my friend Susie Sugar is who I lived with down in Pensacola, and she introduced me to what sweet tea was all about. And it's so funny, Susie, when I go back to Chicago and I order a tea and I'm like, can I have an unsweetened iced tea? And they look at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? We don't sweeten our tea up here. Like they haven't, they haven't lived. They don't know that you can go to the grocery store down here and get a gallon of sweet tea. I digress. Lastly, many of you that follow me also know that I have gone through uh, a lot of research, a lot of research, and I know a lot because of what I've gone through um, in dealing with hormonal issues, hormonal imbalance. Um, I have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. I have had to deal with insulin resistance, low cortisol issues, high cortisol issues, you name it. I went through the hormonal drive-through and I got one of everything. So I have done a shit ton of research. Hey, Kevin Dorley, how are you? I've done a shit ton of research on this. And in the, to the same degree, if you want an ebook, what I'm gonna do is, is put collectively everything that I've learned over the past four or five years about achieving hormonal balance. Again, ins we'll address things like Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, um, insulin resistance, uh, low cortisol issues, high cortisol issues, um, weight gain issues when you go through hormonal, uh, perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, whatever. All of that stuff is gonna be in there and the same instructions go for you. So if you have headaches or migraines, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com, put in the subject line, migraines and headaches. When I have this free collective resource, this ebook, 
on that topic, I will send it out to you at free of charge. Same thing for hormones. If you have those issues, if you're completely frustrated, if you feel like, oh my God, you know, I hit 40, I've gained weight, I don't know what, and you haven't even gotten blood work and you don't even know where to start, and your doctor is just thinking they're gonna put you on progesterone and that everything's gonna be better, or worse yet, they're saying, oh, you're just going through that time of life, let me give you some Xanax and give you some sweet tea and everything will be better. It doesn't work that way. You can be like me at age 50, and be in the best shape of your life, feel the best you've ever felt, and be looking forward to the next multiple decades of your life instead of dreading them. When you're in hormonal balance, and this goes for men too, too many men don't know what a miraculous situation you can have in your life when you are on testosterone and balancing your hormones. So same thing for men. When I say hormones, this isn't just about women. Men, you just have it easier. You walk into and you get your blood work done and they're like, let's give you a little more testosterone. And all of a sudden your sex life and your weight is just perfect. But men can also deal with issues like cholesterol and um, cortisol issues, which can be typically showing, showing up in your life as a lack of sleep or if you have problems sleeping, that's typically a cortisol issue. I'm not the doctor, I just have a lot of friends that are. Um, but anyway, if you have issues and you want my, I'm gonna create the ebook on hormones, I'll bring together all of my research, everything that I can point you in the right direction to, as well as where you find a doctor in your area that can really help you in getting, getting closure, getting fixed. Like where do you go to get blood work and then how do you find a doctor to interpret that blood work? I can point you in the right direction as well. So you wanna use my email, kelly at kellyalexa.com. Put either migraines and headaches in the subject line or hormones or heck, if you're having both, put it all in the subject line. When I have my eBooks done, they will be free. I will email them out to you. I just, I sincerely want to help and also I can't answer all these questions. I'm starting to get so many DMs on all these different platforms that I'm answering the same questions over and over. Why don't I just put it in a damn ebook and then you guys can all have it. That's it. I think that's it. I took notes before I started this. Uh, yeah, that's it. Any questions? No. Um, you're going back to work. Uh, hi Jeffrey, how are you? So. For those of you that are just joining, I apologize. Next time I do a live video, I will schedule it and I will announce it. I just, I, I was coming home from the chiropractor today and I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, I'm gonna create an ebook and everybody can email me and get it for free and then I will you know, promote it more uh, proactively going forward and add to it. But there's just so many people suffering from the same stuff and I know that they don't know where to start and I've already done so much research. Why not save a lot of you that time? So hopefully that will help. I have to go get back to work. I have so much to do to catch up on because again, this week I missed three days. I missed um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday because of a migraine and I will also come back on here next week after I see the neurologist, who knows, maybe she'll let me do a Facebook Live from her office, I'm sure she'd love that. Um, but I will definitely come back on here and update you with what she does to me um, and we'll go from there. But you guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this and you know somebody that's suffering from migraines or potentially also the whole hormone situation, tag them in this video. Make sure that they get my email address, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I will see you guys here soon. Have a great rest of the day, thanks.